A coal bonanza has brought in hundreds of millions of dollars more in royalties to the state than predicted six months ago. While it's helping deliver a bigger surplus than expected, it's not putting a dent in the state's overall debt. There aren't many resources as lucrative as coal and none quite as contentious. Strong demand for coking coal in particular has kept prices higher than expected, boosting the state's coffers. This is something that we are incredibly conscious of and, you know, there's a different story for metallurgical coal, hard coking coal, as, uh, as there is for thermal coal. New figures from the mid-year review show this year's surplus to be more than half a billion dollars thanks to royalties. That's up from $150 million predicted in the June budget. The Treasurer says she wants to see Queensland less reliant on coal. So what we do need to do is focus on the diversification factor. We need to focus on advanced manufacturing, which we are doing. Well, that's all well and good, but if she wants to run a budget that's in the black, she needs black coal. She needs the minerals that come out of the northwestern province. The opposition says not everything in the economic outlook is rosy. We have the unemployment rate at 6.3%. Uh, uh, that is the worst in the country. The mid-year review also shows the public service wages bill has blown out by more than $180 million. If this amount of money is going to be invested, the Queensland public expects better outcomes. They expect better hospitals, better education system. We committed to more doctors, we committed to more nurses. Despite record exports and increased royalties, general state debt is expected to reach $83 billion in the next three years. The Treasurer says boosting infrastructure and services comes at a cost. Josh Bavis, ABC News, Brisbane.